I thought I'd do a quick video, just an update of my Omnibot 2000 project. I uh, got this uh, iRobot crate in the uh, in the mail today, and uh, what I plan to do is either I'm going to use it as a base for my Omnibot 2000, which I have yet to take apart, but I will uh, start doing that very soon, or I'm going to add a connect either directly to the iRobot crate or integrate it into the Omnibot. So I got a few ideas. I'm gonna, uh, I'll know better once I start taking apart the uh, the Omnibot 2000. But the uh, seen lots of videos of using the Connect, and uh, I've actually got a couple of these. I, I decided to go with a white one to go with the iRobot Create. Um, right now, I hold up the Create base to my Omnibot. It's a little wide and I don't know, I'm going to have to see how it looks. If I don't like it, I'm going to probably opt to not do that. But anyway, uh, it's going to be a separate project for now, or it's going to go in the Omnibot. I haven't decided yet, but I've uh, got a few other projects. i got a, a Wowie uh, RoboSapien and the uh, the RoboRaptor there. But, um, and I've actually got a regular Omnibot that's still disassembled. But um, this is going to be the main project right here once I get going. So I thought I'd do uh, just a video of what, what came in today, which is the uh, iRobot Crate. It's just really simple packaging. This just comes like this, all wrapped up. And uh, you get your owner's manual. So I'm going to start taking that out and uh, see if I can get that working with the EZB. But uh, once I get the Omnibot, Taken apart, I'm going to start uh, selling off a few pieces, including a working tray and uh, some other odds and ends that I don't need for the main the main project. But yeah, this robot totally works, so all the components will be good to to sell off to someone that wants to restore one. So anyway, thanks for thanks for watching.